Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll go over how we can make a destructible mesh and how we can destroy it by shooting projectiles at it. Let's jump right into it and get started. Here I have opened the first person template and cleaned it up. First, we need to add the static mesh we want to work with to the scene. You can import any mesh you want or you can use these simple shapes here inside the place actor tab. Let's drag a cube into the level and scale it so it looks like a wall. Alright, now I'm gonna go to the fracture mode and here as you can see we have access to different kinds of fracturing systems which we can choose from. But first we need to generate a geometry collection, so here hit new, define its location in the content browser and hit create. Now we can choose one of these guys here to fracture the mesh. They each have different effects on the mesh, for example the uniform option creates approximately even areas in the mesh or the cluster one will do the job more randomly. You can use the other ones as well based on the result you are aiming for. Okay, now let's go with the cluster and here you can define the minimum and maximum number for the clusters you want to create. Let's go with 8 by 16 and hit fracture. You can hit shift B to change the viewing mode and you can also select the pieces individually and fracture them again. Now let's move it up so it falls down on the ground and we can see how it's working. Yeah, now we can see the fraction and keep in mind that the angle of the mesh when it hits the ground matters too. For example, let's rotate it and play the level and as you can see the fracturing system is working a little differently in comparison with the previous falling angle. Okay, now let's put it on the ground and destroy it by shooting projectiles at it rather than smashing it to the ground. I'm gonna put it on the floor and also assign a material from the starter content so it looks like a concrete wall. Now if we shoot at it, nothing happens and in order to make it work, we need to do some adjustments. Here put the filter on blueprint so we can find the projectile blueprint and open it up. We don't need to touch anything here, just here select the sphere and put the collision presets on block all. Then scale it up a little so it applies enough force to the wall to break it and you are good to go. Before we play the level, let's open up the geometry collection and here you can define a mass for it which will affect its behavior when hit by projectiles. You can play with this option and also the settings in the projectile to achieve the result you like. Okay, now let's go with 800 and play the level. Yeah, it's working and also the secondary fraction levels we made will function when we shoot the pieces again with our projectiles. That's it for this video and if you found it useful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.